If you take a quick walk around the streets of Cincinnati, you can see plenty of traces of the city's German roots, but many Cincinnatians may not know that we have a sister city, Munich, Germany. And our next guest grew up in Munich and now lives here in the Queen City. Joining me now, Felicia Hoffner, who details her experiences on her YouTube channel, German Girl Living in America. Felicia, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So did you know about this Munich Cincinnati connection before you got here? And just how did you get here? Um, yeah, I did because the first time I came to Cincinnati was through the sister city connection. This was actually during high school and they have a high school exchange program between different high schools in Cincinnati and different high schools in Munich. So I was in Cincinnati for the first time when I was 16 in 2010. So that's how I first honestly found out that Cincinnati was even a place. <laughs> uh, and then I came back during my undergrad um, and it just happened that my program at LMU in Munich had a, a big program with the e-media division um, at UC. So then I was like, oh wow, this must be destiny because they have this program so back to Cincinnati. Let's talk about your first reaction to the things that we consider very German here in Cincinnati when you got to experience them, whether it was, you know, the big Oktoberfest downtown or something else. Did you look at that and go, well, that's not really as German as, as you think. Tell me about what that was like. Yeah, the Oktoberfest by the banks definitely isn't very German <laughs> at all. Uh, it's a street festival. I feel like I describe it as a German themed street festival. Okay. So it's still cool. It's still fun, but it's nothing like actual Oktoberfest. Um, what actually is pretty authentic, I would say, is the Hofbrauhaus House in Newport. Yeah. And Ecklenburg Gardens is a lot of fun. Have you had any experience with some of the, the German clubs around town, the Donna Schwabens or different groups like that? And uh, what do those folks think about maybe your YouTube channel or other things? Or have you had that experience yet? Yeah, I know a lot of people really like what I do. A lot of people who are in those clubs are also not, I want to say, like real Germans. A lot of people who are in those clubs are Germans who have German heritage, but who were never born in Germany. Yeah. So a lot of those folks find it super interesting what I'm doing. Um, I did attend the, what was it, Donauschwaben Christkindl Marx yeah. this past season, and then like the Schützenfest at Oping last year. Yeah. All of those events are a lot of fun and they always have some authentic pieces to them, but overall they're not super authentic. <laughs> you wouldn't find those events in Germany like that. Well, let, let's talk about what is German and what's not German. That kind of gets us into your YouTube channel a little bit. First of all, when I first clicked on it, and I, I didn't know exactly when when you had gotten here to study, I would not have known you were German just by listening to your YouTube channel. Your, your, your accent is not exactly thick. Is that something you've worked on at all? Or is that just something that's come natural to you? Talk about that and talk about the YouTube channel a little bit. Well, the accent thing, um, I get that, I get asked that a lot. Um, I personally did not work on it actively. It just like happened over time. I know a lot of people do sit down and practice their accent and work on it. I probably should do that because I feel like I've kind of plateaued with my language skills after I think a year. Like the first year when I was here, I made a lot of progress and then I like stopped making progress, I feel like. So I should probably work on that more, but for me, it mostly came naturally. Um, yeah, and my YouTube channel, I just started that as a hobby because whenever I actually moved here during my exchange semester and then afterwards I just kept coming back, um, I found myself talking about these cultural differences nonstop. I have a lot of German friends from Cincinnati also, but also American friends who had no idea about these cultural differences. And I had a background working for TV and media and I kind of missed all this like editing, filming and recording. So I just thought this would be the perfect hobby for me. Well, it's, I mean, it, it really is well done and it's it's very well researched too. These aren't little two and three minute videos for the most part. They're, they're a little bit longer form. How long does it take you to put those together and what's the most popular one been so far? It takes a long time. I'd say like an average video that's like around 20 minutes long, um, takes me about 20 hours to do from like the planning stage, then recording, then editing, then uploading, then like I promoted on social media and everything. Um, and the one that was the most popular was actually one of my longest videos. And I, when I did that, I, I invested a lot of time into that because it took a lot of research. And I totally expected this to be something that nobody was gonna watch because it was so long and like, a lot of facts involved. 
But then um, that kind of went viral actually with the German audience and has now almost 1.5 million views. Wow, that's awesome. Did you expect to have as many people in Germany watch it as you do in America watch it? No, so in the beginning I had mainly an American audience because I think like Americans like to hear what a German thinks about their culture from the outside, like from a German perspective, from someone who's new to their culture. Um, so in the beginning it was mainly an American audience, like 90, uh, yeah, 80 to 90 percent. But then with that video that I just mentioned that went viral, my audience had become mainly German actually. Well, Felicia, it's great talking to you. I, I really enjoyed the videos. I'm going to share them with my kids because they're all, they're all speaking, uh, like I said, German. So we'll have a lot of fun with that. And we'll have a link, by the way, to Felicia's YouTube show at local12.com. Felicia, thank you so much. Thank you.